नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल अप्लाई बूस्टिंग टेक्निक फॉर कैलिफोर्निया हाउसिंग डेटा सेट व्हिच इज अ डेटा सेट विथ रिग्रेशन प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी ट्राई टू प्रेडिक्ट द प्राइस ऑफ द हाउस बेस्ड ऑन वेरियस एट्रीब्यूट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी अप्लाइड डिफरेंट रिग्रेशंस ऑन कैलिफोर्निया हाउसिंग डेटा सेट in this collab we'll make use of boosting regressors mainly ada boost gradient boosting and exe boost ada boost and gradient boosting regressor are available in sklearn.ensemble module whereas exe boost regressor is not available directly in sklearn but there is a separate library for exe boost and we'll talk about exe boost towards end of this collab we we'll start by assigning a random seed of 306 and this random seed helps us to get the reproducible result in the collab we'll use shuffle split as a cross validation with 10 splits and 20% examples set aside as test examples let us download the data and split it into training and test set so we fetch california housing data set and divide that into training and test as well as the training data is divided into train and dev then we train different regressors and for training different regressors we define a function called train regressor that takes the regression estimator the feature matrix label vector cross validation strategy and name of the regressor as inputs it performs a cross validation based training of the estimator using the negative mean absolute error as a scoring function it uses cross validation strategy as specified by cv parameter of the function argument after the model is trained we calculate the training error and the test error and print it out in these statements let us run the ada boost regressor and after running the ada boost regressor we find that ada boost regressor makes an error of 73.26k on the training set and almost similar type of error on the test set the standard deviation is 6.03 for training and 6.05 for the test test set so ada boost regressor is defined using ada boost regressor this is the instantiation of ada boost regressor and we have made instantiation with default parameters and in default parameters you can see here number of estimators is equal to 50 and learning rate is 1 and it uses linear loss next we define a gradient boosting regressor we instantiate gradient boosting regressor again with bunch of default parameters and in case of gradient boosting regressor if you want to find out what are the default parameters we can simply type the question mark gradient boosting regressor and run this particular cell and we can see the documentation for gradient boosting regressor so the default loss in case of gradient boosting regressor is squared error loss the default learning rate is 0.1 and by default it trains 100 estimators it uses Friedman underscore MSC as a criteria for making split in the decision tree. So this is how you can access the documentation of the API that you are interested in. So you can see that after training the model with gradient boosting regressor, it makes an error of thirty five point three nine k with the standard deviation of point two seven three, whereas on the test set. it makes an error of 36.77 with standard deviation of 0.72 so you can see that using gradient boosting has improved the performance of the regressor compared to the ada boost regressor and finally we train exe boost regressor model so we installed exe boost regressor and exe boost is extreme gradient boosting it is the latest boosting technique it is more regularized form of gradient boosting it is very similar to gradient boosting except that it is more regularized form and with regularization it is able to achieve better generalization performance than gradient boosting 
So XGBoost regressor is available in XGBoost module. So from XGBoost, we import XGB regressor. We instantiate XGB regressor with objective function as square error loss. And here you can again check out the documentation of XGB regressor. And when we train our model with XGBoost regressor, the performance is very similar to gradient boosting regressor. So remember that we have trained XGBoost regressor with default parameters and with default parameters, it is giving performance very similar to gradient boosting. So what we have not done is we have not tried to fine tune parameters of these different regressors. So one of the exercise that I'm leaving uh, you with is to basically perform hyperparameter tuning of these regressors and see what kind of accuracies or what kind of errors you can get on the training set. The idea is to reduce the error as much as possible so that our, our regressor is able to make better predictions on the unseen data. So in this video, we use boosting techniques for solving regression problem. We demonstrated the boosting regressors on California housing dataset task and we found that the gradient boosting and XGBoost regressor in, with their default parameters obtained very comparable performance whereas AdaBoost regressor was having worst of the performance among these three regressors.